The following is a conversation between His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and the daughter of a French author, recorded August 10, 1973, in Paris, France. This is uh, Mrs. Anna Carmen Doyle, uh, and her father-in-law is a very famous author. She wanted to put a festival on for you in the Riviera, but it didn't have enough money to do it. So she said next year she will do this for you. Uh, she has all your books and reads them every morning. She rises very early yeah. and studies Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavad Gita. She looks very intelligent face. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. I speak English, but I speak English. Very nice. So, <coughs> intelligent man and woman should take interest in this great movement. It is a very scientific, spiritual movement. People are suffering for lack of spiritual knowledge. They have become materially like animals. Materialism means animalism. Materialism means animalism. Animalism means in the lower grade of existence. Uh, what is the difference between dog and a human being? He has got a lower grade body and the human being has got a higher grade body. So uh, the more we become materialistic, we get lower grade body. In the lower grade body, the consciousness works only on four activities eating, sleeping, sex life, and defense. This is lower grade activities. And higher grade activities working for understanding God. That is higher grade life. In the lower grade life, nobody can understand God. In the higher grade life, one can understand God. Yes. One can feel with intelligence. Just like a dog may understand this is day, this is night, but he does not understand why it is day, why it is night. But a man can understand that it is day because the sun is there and it is night because sun is now set. That is the difference between dog and man. Better knowledge. So as we advance in better knowledge, that is perfection of life. And the topmost knowledge is to understand Krishna then it was perfect being. That is perfect. Knowledge other than Krishna consciousness, degraded knowledge, a lower grade knowledge. But at the present moment, although superficially we have got very nice building, nice apartment, but the knowledge is dogish. How to eat, how to sleep, how to have sex life, and how to be very. That's all. No one. The same degraded life as at the dog. Dog is also trying how to live, how to sleep, how to have sex, and how to defend. He is making walk, walk, walk. That is defense. His way of defense. That is defense. He is depending for the master. Same as he, dog has also sex life, dog has also sleeps, dog also eats. So if a human being is also engaged in these four principles of business, then what is the difference between him and the dog? He must be interested in the business of understanding God, then he is human being. Otherwise he is a dog. Do we agree? Eh? 
thank you. Actually, we are in the sense that we got to the door, huh? We are in the sense to a door, we are got to him. I think man is got a door, so we are got to him, to the door. Because the way he loves us is fidelity to us. He does not understand God the way we understand God. No, he is not in position to understand God. He understands that he has got a superior, yes. but he does not understand who is the most superior. A human being can understand who is the most superior, top most superior. But we have also superior, but we have forgotten to understand. Yes, we have forgotten. Everyone is a dog is also forgotten, but his forgotten state is more acute. More accurate. And human being is advanced. In the human form of life, If we do not try to understand God, then we are committing suicide. <coughs> yes, because we got the chance, nature gave us the chance to understand God. But if we do not divert our attention in understanding God, then we are making suicide. Misuse of human life. For a human being, the only business is how to understand God, not for economic development. What economic development? This Napoleon plan, so many things, but where he is now? An astrologer in India has said that Jawaharlal Nehru is now a dog in the house of a gentleman in Sweden. <laughs> I go not for him. You may not, but nature is dependent. Just like a child does not hope that if he puts his finger in the fire, it will not burn. But nature is so strict, it doesn't care for the child or the old man, it will burn. I may prove very innocent, but nature doesn't care for that. Nature doesn't care for that. Nature will not show any mercy for the innocent child. No. That is nature. <coughs> Is it not fact? If the child puts his, his finger on the fire, nature will not consider that here is an innocent child. He may not be burnt. No. Equally. Therefore, nature is very strong. We cannot avoid the control of the nature. If you do something, it must act, in, react in the same way. The same, let's say, if you put your finger in the fire, it must react, burn. <coughs> oh. Nature is so strong. So as soon as you violate any law of nature, you will be punished. That is, just like God, who a state, Police is there, engaged by the government. As soon as you violate law, the police will arrest you and give you punishment. Similarly, material nature means the police of God. As soon as you violate God's law, it will give immediately punishment. That is material nature. 
it is always punishing us because we are one after another we are violating the laws of God. Therefore, she is always punishing. That is a business. Mother Nature is described as Goddess Durga, and she has got a trident in her hand. That is punishment. Three kinds of uh, miserable conditions. Adhartik, Adhibhautik, Adhidvaini. Adhartik pertaining to the body and mind. Adhibhautik, uh, miserable condition offered by others. And Adhidvaini, miserable condition offered by higher authorities. That's like if there is no rain. You cannot do anything. Your so-called science and advancement of knowledge will not be able to do Or if there is overflow, that also you cannot do. <coughs> Therefore you have to accept there is a controller of this learning. It is not under my control. That is nature, but nature is working under the direction of God. Behind the background of nature is God. Just like background of police force is the government. Similarly, background of the stringent laws of nature is God. That they do not understand. They are struggling with the natural laws, and that struggle they are taking as advancement. That's all. It is a struggle, but they are taking it as advancement. This is called illusion. It is not advancement. It is simply struggle. But they are taking it as advancement. Such a great powerful man like Napoleon, Hitler, they struggle only. Later on, the vanquish. So what to speak of others? Such big, big men, they struggle against the nature, but they vanquish. Nature is there. Nature is always victorious. So we have to, to own our victory over the nature, that is only possible if you take shelter of Krishna, otherwise not possible. Do you think we are right in our statement? If not, you can ask. Yes. Why I am talking nonsense? Mrs. Kanagarel is interested also, we were speaking in uh, St. Paul in her home, about traveling to visit other planets, huh? traveling to visit higher planets, still in the material world, to accumulate experiences before going back home, back to Godhead. I was trying to explain the more important... You can, you can, you can explain it. That is stated in the Bhagavad. But she wants to go to other planets mm, yes. before going home. Yes, that is stated in the Bhagavad. The yogis, they try to see also other planets. They are inquisitive. And instead of going directly to the planet of Krishna, they want to see intermediate planets, how they are working. Instead of expressing the No, yes. That is natural. Only the strong devotees, they don't like, no, I don't want to see anything. I want to go immediately to Krishna. That is strong devotion. Because they are after mad after seeing Krishna. Yuga-itam nimisena chakshusa pravisa-itam sunna-itam jagat-sarvam. For them the whole universe is vacant for want of Krishna. 
just like you should love somebody. It is not seen. You see, in spite of so many cars and you see the whole city of Paris are void. It don't give you any pleasure. A strong love for Krishna. Sunnaitam. Sunnaitam means everything better. Without seeing Krishna, everything is better. What is the value of this house or this city? He doesn't take it. So heart planted system means better standard of life. Just like if India comes here materially, they see the higher standard of life in Paris and London. <clears throat> but because we are interested in Krishna, we do not take very much care of this higher standard of life. So higher pattern system means many, many thousand times better standard of life. Many, many thousand times. Just like Brahma Loka, the one day of Brahma described, you cannot even calculate mathematically. Uh, just find out. Sahasya Yuga Pajyantam Marahatyat Brahmano Vidusha. This is the topmost planetary system, Brahma Loka. <coughs> and the duration of life in Brahma Loka is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Sahasra, they say, Sahasra Yuga Pajyantam. In the planetary system also, the four rules, birth, death, old age, and disease, they are also there. The life is long duration, but the miserable conditions of the living condition, that one must die, that is there also. So going to the higher planet system means to achieve higher standard of life, but that does not mean solution of material problems. <coughs> Just like Western country, they are supposed to be living in higher standard of life than Eastern country. But that does not mean they have conquered over death. That is not possible. They might possess a nice motor car, but the Eastern man may not possess. He has a bullock car. This much advancement may be there, but the death, birth death is the same in the Eastern and Western. Why should we think that birth and death is so painful, Srila Prabhupada? Because wherever we are, we but can you feel think pain? about Krishna. Do you like to die? Well, Why is this painful? Like that is painful. Even if you think, shudder, that I have to die immediately. He said that immediately. It is very painful. It is very painful because as soon as you die, you are again packed up within the womb of the mother to uh, develop another body. And that is also not certain. Nowadays, the father and mother is killing the child. So even if you develop a body to come with the expectation to come out, the father and mother kills you. Again you have to enter another mother's body. Again you may be killed. This is the position of the sinful man. Because a man is sinful, he shudders. God, again death is coming. So you, you cannot argue. Death is very painful. It is so painful that they are at the last stage because the pain is not tolerated. The soul immediately gives us this body. Just like a man commits suicide. It's very painful. Janma Vittu Jarabhadi Dukha. It is painful. Dukha dosha anudarsana. Anudarsana means if he is a foolish, if he cannot understand, then he should understand described by higher authorities. 
It is painful. So unless you make a solution that no more but, there is no question of getting out of the painful condition of material condition. That is not possible. Yes, that is a easy. As soon as you enter into the womb of the mother, yeah. it is going to you are packed up like this in this way. Can you can you leave for a few minutes packed up like that? At the present moment, if I pack up and put in a bag and then put in a box. How long you can exist? That doesn't matter. It's just like surgical operation is going on, he's unconscious. Yes. That is another thing. By some method, he's unconscious. But the pain is there. The pain is there. The pain is not felt. Just like animals. They they are in painful condition, but because they are animals, they do not feel it. On the horseback, you are driving horseback, like this, like this. It is painful, but because he is animal, he cannot protect himself. Therefore there was a meeting of all animals. That uh, how to get out of the control of man. <laughs> the elephant said, My dear sir, I am so powerful, I am also controlled by that. So it is useless to hold me. <laughs> I am also controlled by that. The, the, the meeting was organized by an ass. <laughs> He thought that I have to work so hard. Let us have a conference of animals to avoid man's control. But he saw that elephant also said that I am so powerful, still I am also controlled by you. So it is useless. But then human beings get into the same Similarly, our position is like that, like ass. We are also trying to get out of the control of material nature, like an ass, but it is not possible. The conference is failure. <laughs> Here in the material world, even a so powerful being as Brahma, he is also controlled by God. He is also controlled. You have seen that picture? Brahma is going down before Krishna. Do you remember this picture? In the temple in Geneva, Brahma with four yes. heads is offering yes. his respects yes. to Krishna? Yes. He is the controller of the whole universe. He also bowing down before little Krishna. Sir, I wanted to so you my superior power, but I am insignificant before you. Brahma stole away all his cups and cows and coward boy, and he saw again the same cups and cows and boy that playing with him. So he became surprised. How is that? I took away, and again he is. He has expanded himself. You have read that portion. God is called self-sufficient because He can expand Himself to satisfy His needs, whatever He wants. So He doesn't require anyone's help. He is completely independent. But still he is so kind that he comes to your temple as he has come today and 
He is dependent. If you give him some food stuff, he'll eat. Otherwise he'll starve. So we should always remember the most powerful, self-sufficient, has come kindly at my place just to become dependent on my food stuff. This is his kindness. And if we think, ah, I am giving food to Krishna, what is Krishna? Then you are finished. We have to think all and that he is self-sufficient. But he is so kind, in spite of his being self-sufficient, he invites my, he accepts my invitation and he has come. We have to treat in that way. Bhagavad Gita is very nice. But it's a very complicated book. That is the elementary ABCD. That's Arjuna. He was a family man. Is it not? Arjuna? The Bhagavad Gita? Yes, Arjuna. Not only family man, he was in the battlefield. Yes. So if you could understand Bhagavad Gita yes. in that position, yes. why we cannot? Yes, that's fine. So it is no question of we have to give up family life. There is no such thing. We have to understand the science. Arjun was a family man. After understanding Bhagavad Gita, he did not give up family. No. no. So it is a wrong impression. That to become Krishna conscious, one has to give up family relation. No, that's not bad. Sometimes people think like that, but that is wrong. Hmm. Uh, spiritual understanding does not depend on material conditions. No. No, that is true. Yes. You may be in any material condition, still you can develop your spiritual consciousness. That is there. But sometimes we accept a certain position for our yes. personal convenience. That is another thing. But spiritual consciousness is not dependent on any material condition. It is spontaneous. Either he is a householder or a sannyasi or brahmachari, a businessman, or he doesn't matter. He can become fully Krishna conscious.